Morning, folks. Um, so back on satellites. <laughs> and for all this one's for all the people to say, oh, you big dummy, you big dummy. You think NASA's the only space agency? Blah, blah, blah. What about all the private space agencies like SpaceX? <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about SpaceX. So I just got <laughs> around to watching this fairy tale video they had released from their uh, Falcon launch on the 21st of December. <laughs> first time, first time they landed the Stage 1 rocket back on Earth. <laughs> of course, again, in 2016... They don't put any <laughs> camera angles on the first stage rocket so you, so you can see this <laughs> magnificent technological wonder of them landing this rocket back. They just go through a stage, you know, the initial liftoff. Then about 26 minutes in, I'll leave the link of this video. You start getting a camera angle of it's, you know, on this booster rocket. I, I, I'm assuming that's the second stage they're showing. I believe so. And it's continuously burning. Yet for some odd reason, from 26 minutes on to about 30 some minutes, the camera angle keeps changing on that fucker. Just very slightly, but you can see the camera angle keeps changing. Okay, maybe they had two cameras on it just for backup. No camera on the first stage that they're going to land and make history and oh, got the whole fucking, <laughs> the whole fucking play-by-play, -play, the yuppie little announcers doing the play-by-play -play and the crowd cheers in the background. <laughs> it's like the Super Bowl of rocket launches. The whole thing is just fucking absurd. Like everything else, every time something significant in the mission happens, oh, they cut away to the announcers or to the crowd cheering. You don't get to see that part. And then all of a sudden, oh, look, the first stage is landing, and they show some far distant cutaway shot of this fucking first stage supposedly landing. It's, oh, my fucking God. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, it, it gets so frustrating, people. You, just how easily manipulated folks are. I, oh, my God. As long as you just make an event of it, put some enthusiastic, smiling, holding their hands like this the whole time, announcers and play-by-play, Enthusiasts out there, people will fucking fall for anything. Even the geniuses out there that, that point out how rigged sports are, these people are using the same tactics for this bullshit rocket satellite launch with the play-by-play -play announcers and the crowd cheering to get people, oh yeah, just all into it. We'll say it's real. And, and those satellites it's launching are real. Okay. Let's get to those satellites. About late 30s, for yeah, th in the mid 30s or so, they start launching these satellites into space. Got one question for all the trolls and all the nassholes out there. Your favorite story you love to tell us about inertia is if I'm driving in the car and I throw the ball up, the ball comes straight back down. Because of inertia, right? It's traveling the same speed as I am. And because I'm inside that car, there's no atmospheric resistance. So it maintains the same speed I'm going and follows right along with me and comes right back down. 
Or we get the, I'm standing on the train or the plane, planes, trains, and automobiles for Hollywood bullshit. I'm standing on the plane or the train and I jump. And I don't go flying to the back of the plane or the train because inertia. Quick question. So this rocket starts launching satellites into space. The vacuum of space where there's no atmospheric resistance, right? That's what we're told all the time. This rocket's doing a constant speed of, of 29 kilometer, thousand kilometers per hour, give or take a mile an hour, but it's sitting at a constant speed. You can see their little speedometer there. So why is it when it releases those satellites they immediately start falling behind. If there's no atmospheric resistance, it's no different than those satellites are you standing on that train or standing on that plane and jumping. Why do these satellites not just ride along with the rocket because of the inertia in the vacuum of space where there's no resistance. We've all seen the feather and the bowling ball videos, right? Where there's no resistance in a vacuum, so they fall at the same speed. So don't give me some aerodynamic bullshit or atmospheric resistance bullshit. Why do these satellites not carry the 29,000 kilometer per hour inertia of that rocket. Why do they immediately start falling away and behind that rocket? Almost like they're falling down in a dark ass swimming pool. Could you please fucking explain? I don't even know why I ask. Because you'll come up with some bullshit that co totally contradicts your standard argument of the ball in the car. Or you standing and jumping on the plane or the train. You love your planes, trains, and automobiles inertia bullshit to explain why we're spinning around at a thousand miles an hour here on Earth. But in space, I'm sure you'll come up with some bullshit why it doesn't work there, right? You people are a fucking joke. And then we got these assholes about the North Korean satellite pushing that bullshit still. Someone asked me to watch BP Earthwatch's fucking video about... Fuck BP Earthwatch. Fuck anybody pushing these bullshit fake-ass satellites. It's all garbage. It's fantasy. They don't exist. For all you sky watchers... That look in telescopes. Show me one fucking silhouette of a satellite. You look at all these planets constantly, every night... Never once does one of these satellites fly through the path of your telescope to where I can even see a silhouette of it. Never once in the history of launching all this shit into space has anything ever come down and killed somebody. Landed. It always lands in some remote area. Seven billion people on this planet and never once has somebody been killed. You'll see one story of a lady in 1997 was exercising in a park. And some CD sized thing floated down and hit her. She wasn't hurt because, oh, luckily the wind resistance kept it from going too fast to hurt her. <laughs> so all these rocket boosters that launch these satellites into space that are designed... To resist the atmosphere as they go up to release that, wouldn't they be designed, wouldn't that same resistance allow it to enter back into the atmosphere? But it always somehow breaks up, right? So it doesn't hurt anybody. Everything's so fucking convenient for NASA. They never have accidents. Nothing's ever accidentally come and landed and killed somebody. How fortunate for them. We see them have accidents all the time. When ro ro rockets are trying to go up, we see them blow up all the fucking time. But apparently once they get up, they never have accidents of landing in the wrong place. Just 
too much bullshit to be expected to swallow. And all you fucking trolls that are going to come with your bullshit, I don't want any answer, but why does your planes, trains, and automobiles inertia garbage not work when this fucking rocket is releasing these satellites into space? Why do those satellites not maintain the inertia of that rocket and start orbiting right along with the rocket? It doesn't work. So switch your story up, come up with some bullshit about why, how that's not going to work in the vacuum of space where there's no atmospheric resistance. Now it'll be, oh, well, there's a little atmospheric resistance. Or, oh, because it's a square hunk of metal and the rocket's aerodynamic. Or some bullshit. Yet I can throw a big clunky laptop in my car and the inertia won't send it to the back of the car, right? People are a fucking joke. You just tailor your arguments to suit the needs of your propaganda bullshit to keep the fantasy going. I know it. Everybody that's aware what a joke NASA is knows it. You fucking people just think you can convince others that don't. I know you're not even trying to convince me because you know I know better. You just clog, try and clog up my comment sections. So anybody that's trying to actually learn something will come and see your bullshit and hopefully run off and not listen to the truth from me. So keep it up. Give it. You know, go ahead. It'll be fucking tossed. Get on your own channel and spew your bullshit. It's not going to show up in my comment section. It's such a joke, people. Watch this spectacle if you have the desire to see what a fucking joke SpaceX is just as much as NASA, just as much as the ESA, just as much as every space program out there, including the newly in inducted North Korean space po program with their satellite that's now conveniently tumbling and failing. And Give me a fucking break. It's all propaganda bullshit. Fear factor, fear porn, propaganda bullshit. All to suck more money from you. How? Oh, now South Korea needs some fad missile defense system. Gotta spend more money on that. Gotta give them a missile system for fucking missiles that ain't gonna do shit. They knew they were going to launch this rocket with this satellite. They could have had fucking missiles ready to shoot that fucker down the minute it took off. They don't need no goddamn missile defense system. You're telling me South Korea, our ally, is that naked right next to North Korea? They don't have any missiles that could have shot that fucker down. They couldn't detect the minute they were shooting that shit down and shot it out of the fucking air. Are you serious, people? Are you fucking serious? Are you ever going to quit buying into this bullshit? This control. This mind control programming. He who seeks to control your knowledge seeks to control you. Period. Do you ever get tired of being controlled and played with and led around like a mindless puppet? I know I do. I'm tired of the twilight, twilight zone life. I'm, I'm tired of sitting here living around a bunch of non-thinking fucking drones that just eat up everything they're told through the idiot box. It gets real cumbersome, people. I, I, and people wonder why I get frustrated and cuss and yell in my videos. It's because I'm out here fighting for you I'm asking you to wake the fuck up and quit being mind fucked and played with and people just want to get mad at me for it call me an idiot call me crazy whatever it's all good I know the truth that's all I need to know have a good one folks